Alright, so picking this up where we previously left off here. One fun little thing about this uh, room where we did that boss fight is uh, these posters on the walls are from games that Kojima worked on in the past, like Police Knots. And I don't remember what this one is. That might be more police knots. There's kind of a little easter egg there. So for this upcoming part, we're going to be uh, doing a boss who... There's a trick to beating him, but because I'm playing this on an emulator and not a uh, PlayStation 1, I actually can't do the trick. And killing him would otherwise take like at least 15 minutes without the trick. So what I'm going to have to do is just die a whole bunch, like maybe three or four times, before the game will let me use a different trick. That's a gun camera. Is there anything in there that I want? Uh, I don't know what that is. That looks like a special box. Watch it just be ammo, though. Gas mask, okay. That actually is really handy. Okay. So, let's think about this. So when I last left off, I was told to go and get in touch with Meryl, which I couldn't do over Kodak, and I would have to do it somewhere where she's alone, which the hint there is the bathroom. So I need to wait for one of these guards to go into the women's bathroom, which might take a while. In fact, I'm pretty sure it does take like at least two minutes. I just totally can't see me 20 feet away in the hallway. Well, this is exciting. Let's see, maybe this is it? Nope. That's the second time I've been able to sneak up on the legendary Solid Snake. You're Meryl? There's no way you could pass for a man for long. What do you mean? Hey, men aren't allowed in here. I had no idea you were so feminine. This is no time to try and hit on me, Snake. Besides, it's a waste of time. When I joined up, they gave me psychotherapy to destroy my interest in men. Same smart mouth. You're Meryl, all right. Are you hurt? Not yet. After all, I was disguised as a genome soldier. So why'd you change? You'd be a lot better off dressed like one of them. 
I got tired of disguising myself. The truth is, the uniform smelled like blood. What's that mark? Huh? Oh, this? It's a paint tattoo. It's not real. I was a fan of Foxhound way back, and guys like you and my uncle were in it. None of that gene therapy like there is today. You guys were real heroes. There are no heroes in war. All the heroes I know are either dead or in prison. One or the other. But Snake, you're a hero, aren't you? I'm just a man who's good at what he does. Killing. There's no winning or losing for a mercenary. The only winners in war are the people. That's right, and you fight for the people. I've never fought for anyone but myself. I've got no purpose in life, no ultimate goal. Come on. It's only when I'm cheating death on the battlefield. The only time I feel truly alive. Seeing other people die makes you feel alive, huh? You love war and don't want it to stop? Is it the same with all great soldiers throughout history? Why didn't you contact me? My codec was broken. Is that all? Shouldn't you just be happy we met up like this? How did you recognize me in disguise? I never forget a lady. So there's something you like about me, huh? Yeah, you've got a great butt. Oh, I see. First it's my eyes, now it's my butt. And what's next? On the battlefield, you never think about what's next. So Snake, how are the negotiations going? No progress. So it's all up to you, huh? Somebody's got to stop them from launching a nuclear missile. There are two ways. Either we destroy Metal Gear, or... We override the detonation code. You got the card keys from Baker? Card keys? You mean this? Where are the others? There should be three keys. This is all I've got. Where could the other two be? I have no idea, but they must be somewhere. If we can't find them, we'll have no choice but to destroy Metal Gear. Metal Gear is in an underground maintenance base to the north. Take me too. I know this place better than you do. You'll just slow me down. You don't have enough battle experience. I won't slow you down, I promise. And what if you do? Then you can shoot me. I don't like to waste bullets. Got it. I'll be careful. You know, I don't use makeup the way other women do. I hardly ever look at myself in the mirror. I've always despised that kind of woman. I always dreamed of becoming a soldier. But I was wrong. It wasn't really my dream. My father. He was killed in action when I was younger. You wanted to follow in your father's footsteps? Not really. I thought that if I became a soldier, I could understand him better. So are you a soldier yet? I thought I was until today, but now I understand. The truth is, I was just afraid of looking at myself, afraid of having to make my own decisions in life. But I'm not gonna lie to myself anymore. It's time I took a long, hard look at myself. I wanna know who I am, what I'm capable of. I wanna know why I've lived the way I've lived until now. I want to know. Take a good look. You won't get another chance for a while. You should wash your face, too, while you're at it. Yeah. This isn't a training exercise. Our lives are riding on this. There are no heroes or heroines. If you lose, you're worm food. Yeah. Is that FAMAS functional? Unfortunately, it's out of ammo. Where did you get that Desert Eagle? I found it in the armory. It's a 50 caliber Action Express. There was a SOCOM pistol, too, but I chose this. Huh. So I got a leftover, huh? Isn't that gun a little big for a girl? Don't worry, I can handle it. Come on, use my 45. Listen, I've used a gun like this since I was eight years old. I'm more comfortable with it than I am with a bra. If we're gonna go to the north, we'll have to go through the commander's room on this floor. The overland route is blocked by glaciers. The door to the commander's room is security level five. This card will open it. It was inside the pocket of the uniform I was wearing. Looks like he must have been guarding someplace important. Okay, let's go. I know this place better than you. I'll be point man. Follow me. Okay. That's strange. There's no guard. What happened to the music? I'll keep a lookout. Make sure you're ready, okay?
Alright, that's my cue to just go and loot everything that I can in here. Night vision goggles and diazepam, cardboard box B, hell yeah. All right, so like I said, I'm gonna have to die a few times I think before I can really do much here, but. Check out what happens when I try to do first person looking. I see her perspective instead. He's actually commenting on the style of the playthrough that we've been doing. Still don't believe me. 
Now I'll read more deeply into your soul. Your memory is completely clean. Hmm. You have not saved often. You are somewhat reckless. I can read you like an open book. You still don't believe me? I will show you my psychokinetic power. Put your controller on the floor. Put it down as flat as you can. That's good. Now I will move your controller by the power of my will alone. On PlayStation, this makes a controller with shock vibrate. What do you think now? Can you feel my power now? A demonstration is over. Oh, and also weird shit like this happens. Okay. That psycho mantis, former KGB psychic, has powerful telepathic abilities. After the collapse of the Soviet Union, he came to America looking for a job. He worked with the FBI on several cases as a psychic profiler. Five years ago, he was working on the case of a multiple serial murderer, and he got too far into the killer's mind. As a result, he became just like the killer. So he was sort of infected by this serial murderer's thoughts? In any case, after that, he became a sort of psychic spy working for the highest bidder. He traveled all around the world. That's when he was recruited by Foxhound. He can read people's minds. He knows every move that you're going to make. What should I do? I've got no chance of beating him. There must be some way. He's a master at controlling people, Snake. Don't let him manipulate you. Okay, so in order for this fight not to take forever, I'm just going to have to kill myself here. All the grenades that we throw will detonate almost immediately, which is kind of funny. There's death number one. That's right, we start back here. All right, skip all of this. Come on, Mr. Foxhound. The commander is waiting. He's 
using his psychic ability to read your controller's moves. That's how he's evading your attack. You've got to do something so he can't read your controller's moves. Think, there must be some way. I've got it. Use the controller port. Plug your controller into controller port 2. Okay, hopefully we'll be able to see if it works this time. use controller port 2? Ah, well, it's okay. Do you see something that looks like a statue on both sides of the room? Yeah. You mean those things with their faces all wrapped up in leather bands? Yes. Attack those statues to uncover their faces. Why? Those statues were modeled after Mantis's real face. Mantis despises the sight of his own face. He suddenly sees his own disfigured face staring at him. It might break his concentration. Snake. If you destroy the faces of those statues, you should be able to disturb Mantis's psychic powers. Bingo, there we go. I love all the glitchy stuff in this fight.
brains out. Ah! Stop! Meryl! Trying to use the thing where I look through his eyes in order to uh, gauge where he's going to be. Hell yeah, that's how you do that fight. niece is going to be okay. Thanks, Snake. I owe you one. Now that Mantis is beaten, Meryl's brainwashing should wear off, right, Naomi? Yes. But why did you go so far out of your way to save her? For Campbell's sake, or maybe it's because you like her? I don't want to see any woman die right in front of me. Oh, really? Since when did anybody's death bother you so much? Naomi, it's true that Snake has killed a lot of people, but that doesn't mean he doesn't have a heart. It's okay, Colonel. She's right. So... you used the other... I... I wasn't able to read the future. A strong man doesn't need to read the future. He makes it Yeah! <laughs> Perhaps so. But I'll read your future. Metal Gear's underground maintenance base. You have to go through that hidden door. There's a hidden door behind the bookcase. The overland route. It's blocked by frozen glaciers. Go past the communication towers. And use the tower's walkway. Why are you telling me this? I can read people's minds. In my lifetime, I have read the past, presents, and futures of thousands upon thousands of men and women. Oh, gross. And each mind that I peered into was stuffed with the same single object of obsession. That's selfish. An atavistic desire to pass on one seed. It was enough to make me sick. Every living thing on this planet exists to mindlessly pass on their DNA. We're designed that way. And that's why there is war. But you... You are different. You're the same as us. We have no past, no future. We live in the moment. That's our only purpose. Humans weren't designed to bring each other happiness. From the moment we're thrown into this world, we're fated to bring each other nothing but pain and misery. The first person whose mind I dove into was my father's. I saw nothing but disgust and hatred for me in his heart. My mother died in childbirth. 
and he despised me for it. I thought my father was going to kill me. That's when my future disappeared. I lost my past as well. When I came to, the village was engulfed in flames. Are you saying that you burned your village down to bury your past? I see that you have suffered the same trauma. <laughs> we are truly the same, you and I. The world is a more interesting place with people like you in it. I never agreed with the boss's revolution. His dreams of world conquest do not interest me. I just wanted an excuse to kill as many people as I could. You monster. Let him talk. He doesn't have much time left. I've seen through evil. You, Snake. You're just like the boss. No, you're worse. Compared to you, I'm not so bad. I read her mind as well. Meryl's? I saw you there. You have a large place in your heart. A large place? Yes, a large place. But I do not know if your futures lie together. I have a last request. What is it? My mask. Put it back on. Okay. Like this. Other people's thoughts force their way into my mind before I die. I want to be by myself. I want to be left alone in my own world. <laughs> for you. If you want to find your future, go through that door. This is the first time I've ever used my power to help someone. It's strange. It feels kind of Let's go, Meryl. I'm sorry. Meryl? How could I let Mantis control my mind like that? If you're gonna doubt yourself, I'll leave you here. You're right. Never doubt yourself. Just let it make you stronger. Learn something from it. You're right. I'm sorry. I won't do it again. Snake, can I ask you something? What? About what Mantis said. I was just wondering. What? What's the problem now? Oh, no, nothing. So, tell me, Snake. What's your name? Your real name? A name means nothing on the battlefield. How old are you? Old enough to know what death looks like. Any family? No, but I was raised by many people. Is there anyone you like? I've never been interested in anyone else's life. So you are all alone. Just like Mantis said. Other people just complicate my life. I don't like to get involved. You're a sad, lonely man. Come on. Let's go. And that's that fight going to progress a little bit further than probably call it. Could there be wolves in there? Wolf dogs. Half wolf, half husky. How do you know so much? I ride dog sleds. I'm a musher. 
I'll take point. Snake, you follow me. Snake, what's wrong? I thought you were good with dogs. This place is mine. I'll take point again. Stay back, okay? But the radar isn't working. And since we can't use the mine detector either... Leave it to me! So, what do you think? Pretty good, huh? How did you know where the mines were? It sounds weird, but when Mantis dove into my mind, I was able to see where the mines were placed. Are you impressed? Well, a little bit. Only a little? They want. Even I know that. 
It's the oldest trick in the book. The sniper's using me for bait to lure you out. Damn. Shoot me, Snake. No. My gun. I can't reach it by myself. Don't move. I promised. I wouldn't slow you down. I... I... I, I can still help. I want to help you. Quiet down. Save your strength. I was a fool. I wanted to be a soldier. But war is ugly. There's nothing glamorous about it. Snake, please save yourself. Go on living and don't give up on people. Don't forget me. Now get out of here. Meryl! Damn. Snake, it's a trap. A sniper's trick to lure you out. The sniper's waiting for you to go and help Meryl, so he can pick you off. Don't do it. Must be Sniper Wolf, Foxhound's best shooter. Snipers usually work in pairs, but this one's alone, huh? I know her. She can wait for hours, days, or weeks. It doesn't matter to her. She's just watching and waiting for you to expose yourself. Maybe so, but Meryl can't hold out that long. Snake, can you see Wolf from where you are? There's nowhere to hide between here and the tower. She must be on the second floor of the tower. If Wolf is in the communications tower, she can see you perfectly. It's the classic sniper's position. At that distance, you won't be able to hit her with a standard weapon either. You'll need a sniper rifle. Colonel, take it easy. <sighs> I'm going to save Meryl, no matter what it takes. <sighs> okay. Thanks. What's wrong, Naomi? Nothing. I'm just surprised you're willing to sacrifice yourself. You got the genes of a soldier, not a savior. You trying to say that I'm only interested in saving my own skin? I wouldn't go that far, but... I don't know what the hell my genes look like, and I don't care. I operate on instinct. Like an animal? I'm going to save Meryl. I don't need an excuse. Okay. And I'm not doing it for someone else, either. I'm gonna save Meryl for myself. Colonel, don't worry. Snake, thanks. I understand. I'm sorry. Alright. I think we'll leave it at that. <laughs>